I have the most revolutionary idea and I build a platform to make it happen, but I forgot one thing. How am I going to be able to scale the application so users across the globe can access it fast, easy, and smooth? We don't necessarily need to rely on the cloud to scale an application. There's a quick and easy shortcut to make this happen. I need to make sure that this application goes big and it goes worldwide. We got to expand the whole operation. Distribution. New York, Chicago, LA. We got to set our own mark and enforce it. We got to think big now. Think big. When we think about application scalability, we always think, oh yeah, we're going to be deploying this on the cloud, we'll deploy one instance on the Americas, we'll deploy another instance on Europe, we'll deploy another instance in Asia, and then we'll have some form of geo load balancing to spread the requests across those three regions. So we are doing geo load balancing by either implementing a CDN, which is a content delivery network that will serve those files using the closest resource to get to that destination. Once the user logs onto the application and starts pulling data out of a gateway that is going to be serving that information, we want to make sure that the path going to that destination is as close as possible to the end user, which means if I'm in South America, for example, I'm in Colombia, I'm in Brazil, I want to make sure that when I open that application, I am not going to be hitting a server in Germany. Why we have to plan the application that way is because we want the user experience to be top notch. We want to make sure that the users have an amazing experience. We can have thousands of users hitting the application all at the same time. We usually plan a lot in the application development. We deploy the backend, build the middleware, connect our API calls. We go ahead and deploy that WSS and have those sessions active. However, if you place that backend server in Germany and you're going to have users in in Brazil, users in China, across the globe, trying to get to that destination, not everyone is going to have the same experience, which means for some, it might run fast, it might be a very fast application, but for others, it's not going to be that. That is one problem. The other problem is the following. You are combining all that traffic onto one destination, which means what? All the requests across the globe are gonna land at the same destination. And that is a problem. It is a problem because what happens if we lose that destination? That server goes down, we're toast, we're dead in the water. This video, what I'm going to be showing you is how to scale the application by placing the same backend. We're gonna be placing the same backend across the entire globe but there's going to be this cool function that we are going to be writing in the front end. And I'm going to be showing you how to write this in Next.js. But again, it's JavaScript. So all you have to do is build that function in whichever framework you are working on your front end. And with that said, I am going to be able to send the user to the fastest destination without any third party service. No cloud geo load balancing, CDN service required. It is, I'm telling you, it is a simple three liner code that we just need to write to make this happen. But we need to understand what's going on. First of all, how do we get me as a web user, as a client, I will be opening the front end. From there, the front end is going to have functions interacting via an API interface to send the request to a backend or send the request to a gateway that is going to be serving XYZ file, XYZ pictures, XYZ data, etc. The problem is if the user is way far from the back end, there is going to be a lot, a lot of hops because the internet is a spider web of routers. So what's going on is I will be sending the request. The moment I send that request, I'm going to start hopping over multiple places, regions across the globe in order for me to get to that destination. The more transit hops between my machine and the back end I have to do, the more latency I'm going to be having. How can we determine which gateway 
way am I going to be sending that request based on where I'm located? Step one. We have to store all the URLs in an array, okay? So let's say you place a server mm -hmm. in New York, you place another server in Brazil, and another server in Germany. You have three servers. They could be cloud-based, could be bare metal servers. It doesn't matter. We'll place the URLs for each server onto an array. Once we have that, we'll build a function that is going to do a get request. All I have to make sure is that I can do a test connection using every single URL and obtain a return. So I know that I was able to successfully contact that server. So we're building a function, in this case, a get function that will be executed using every single URL that we have in the array. Step two. Once we have that, we are going to be using the performance module. It's going to obtain the current timestamp in milliseconds. We are going to be grabbing that value and storing that in a variable. And let's call this variable start. Step three. We'll execute the API call right after that. So check this out. So we're adding start performance dot now. That will give me the current time. It will insert the API call. And finally, once the API call has been completed and I obtain a return. Step four. We are going to be grabbing once again the current timestamp using performance.now. We'll store that in another variable called end. Okay? And check this out. We are going to be subtracting end against start. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the latency. Step five. It is the total time it took from executing the function, making the API call obtaining the return and then continuing the function. That is exactly the amount of time that I'm going to take to obtain that return. And we are going to be reading every single entry inside the array and we will pass that to the get function. We'll execute that. Guess what we need to do now? We have to obtain all the values, store them or push them onto a new array and we will find which one out of those values is the lowest one, the best destination or the best gateway to get ourselves into that destination from where we are geographically located. Okay, let's summarize. Number one, we get the timestamp before the API call. Second, we'll execute the API call. Number three, we'll get the timestamp after the API call. And number four, we'll subtract both the end and start timestamp values. It's that simple, four steps. Once we do that, we'll obtain the latency this is a function that is going to be rendered by the end user. If I'm on the United States, I access that application the moment I connect. At the same time, I'm authenticating that user onto the application. I am going to be assigning to that user the gateway that is going to use to make all the API calls in the application. It's that simple. So all I have to do is I have to store that value into local storage in the browser. And instead of me having to call that function to obtain which one is the best gateway, we only do that at once. We store that in the local storage. So we'll have to store that gateway address in the local storage. And then we'll retrieve that value once again, every time that we need to make any calls to obtain XYZ information from that site. If for some reason we lose that destination, we lose that gateway, what we need to do at all my functions in the application, we just have to insert a function in the cache that is going to refresh once again, the local storage by obtaining the next best available gateway. Isn't that awesome? To get the application scaling, you added more servers. Well, guess what? You just need to add more entries inside that array and you'll continue to serve more and more clients. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you spread the user load across all my available servers. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed to. Hey, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.